Okay, you guys have been commenting for this video for a very long time, so here you go. Today, I'm gonna be showing you guys my custom LEGO Super Mario Rosalina Starter Course. This custom set took a very long time to make, so if you guys wouldn't mind uh, dropping a like or subscribing, it would help me out a ton. Share the video with your friends, you know, all those shenanigans. Oh, actually, uh, I do wanna say, Huge shout out to this subscriber for being the first comment on my last video. I'm bringing it back. If you guys want to shout out in one of my future videos, try to be the first comment on my video. I don't really have a set schedule uh, for uploads, so just turn on my notifications and whenever you see it, try to be the first comment and I'll feature your comment in the next video. So yeah. All right, now with all that stuff out of the way, let's just jump right into this custom set. The first thing that I want to talk about is this Rosalina. Huge shout out to Vin Vin Mario for the base design. Um, I, I made it like 3D and stuff and kind of changed it a little bit. I honestly think that if we were to get another interactive character, it would either be Rosalina or Captain Toad. Um, if it's not Captain Toad, then perfect. Speaking of the next character, we have Captain Toad. You may notice that his build for his head is a little different than the ones that LEGO has released. That's because the program I use, Mecha Bricks, doesn't actually have uh, the Toad head piece in the system or whatever, so I just built it out of LEGO, whatever. Easy fix. I really like the build for this guy and the custom prints are really cool. I think that if LEGO isn't going to do a interactive Captain Toad, that this is definitely something that they need to do. The last character in this set is the Octumba. I'm not going to spend too much time on this guy because he's been featured in a lot of my sets. He's built similar to a Goomba. I'm honestly really surprised that LEGO hasn't released this guy yet because he's another really easy character that they could have made already, which makes me think that we're going to get Galaxy sets in the future, but we'll speculate in a different video. <laughs> the build for this set is also pretty cool. You start off with this launch star build. It uses a lot of different angled pieces to make up the bigger star and then a little tiny star with an interactive plate. Rosalina can launch from there or Mario or Luigi or Peach because we have so many now. You move along and you can see Rosalina has like a little flower garden going on. From there you can follow the path to a little question block. You can also see one of the places to put your Octumba. There's also some star bits all over the ground. Those are just transparent rock pieces. Uh, pretty cool stuff. Moving on, you can see the path kind of peters out. There's also another place that you can put your Octumba if you want to put him there. There is a tower where you can find your Captain Toad. Uh, there is an interactive tile for him, so you can get your coins. You can also see that there are some more star bits, and you can actually interact with those and collect them. Uh, there's also some trees behind it. All of the black tiles are supposed to be space. That's kind of the best way for me to describe it. Anyways, there is also a flag for Rosalina so she can end her run and collect her coins. Here's the box. I <laughs> I forgot to put <laughs> the piece number and all that stuff. Um, and I'm too lazy to go back, so that's what you get. <laughs> Anyways, what do you guys think about this idea? Do you think that we could be getting a Lego Rosalina in the future? Also, I really want to make more Mario Galaxy sets because they're really fun to make. So let me know what custom sets you guys want to see in the future, and I'll try to put your comment in the video if I remember. Sorry if I don't. Remember, only cool people can drop a like, so if you drop a like, um, I guess it means you're cool. And if you click the button and nothing happens, then... <laughs> Sorry to say, man, but you're just not cool.